Oh guys, I don't know if you can see probably, but uh, yeah, today I'm gonna make a very fast, quick uh, video of the one plus two. Got just got some updates. Just let me put the brightness to automatic. So, or maybe that's a bit too low. Okay, so the main thing is, uh, it was a very old device, I mean it's not old, it's last year, uh, device flagship from OnePlus, and a lot of people complain about, did it get, uh, gets abandoned? So, an update was confirmed yesterday uh, in the OnePlus forum, and the OTA still, I don't know if it's up or not, but I manually flashed it, um, with the zip file from OnePlus uh, community. Uh, it's not a community build, it's a stable build which uh, just bring, it, bring some bug fixes. So we're gonna just go and see very fast uh, what's in, what does it bring. First, uh, let me open the forum. Um, I will show you what has changed. So first, uh, okay, Oxygen OS 3.1. OT update, Samsung. Okay, so firstly, uh, this update is a bit special because this is indeed uh, Oxygen OS uh, 3.1.0, but this is not the same as the 3.1.0 on the um, one plus three on the one plus six. The only thing that we got is fix the notification issues, uh, improve those mode performance, uh, added a media sound toggle for art slider. I didn't check that one yet, but I have to check. And uh, they fixed the art slider silent mode issue, uh, the security patch uh, from one August. Uh, quad root patch and general bug fixes including auto rotation that has a bug uh, which sometimes work and doesn't work and this one seems to work fine okay so now let's go into settings one more time uh, don't ask why I use soft keys uh, I've got smaller hands so and I use with my right hand it's more easy to reach the back button with the soft keys than here Okay, so let's go to about phone and what you're gonna see is okay android version is 6.0.1 security patch is 1st august and oxygen os is 3.0.1.0 uh that's all and it's all the bug fixes that it it, it brings back uh, uh something the performance of the stock launcher is a bit faster Shelf, you don't have the new shelf UI, it's still the old uh, shelf UI. Uh, that's not a big deal. Uh, the, yeah, the performance of the Oxygen OS launcher is way more faster than before. I mean, it's better than before, it was pretty much laggy. Uh, multitasking, still actually the same. RAM management is uh, way better if I compare to the old version. Uh, that's pretty much what we got uh, you can the battery yeah the battery has been fixed I'll show you some screenshot of uh, my battery usage uh, that I get uh, so let's go to album screenshot Facebook whatever okay screenshot so I'm gonna take from the first that was today so I wake up uh, at 7 yeah and I charge my phone to 100% uh, not overnight but I charge in the morning and then I went out of uh, the house at about 8 o'clock and you can see I get out with 100% and what I use uh, I, that's all you use until I get home and this time it's about uh, yeah this time you can see 1949 uh, so it's about 7 p.m. and what I've be, I think it's better because I've used as you can see Android system 90% screen on time that was my screen on time plus watching youtube video 
a lot of social media you can see four hours and 14 minutes uh, and I've got 20% left uh, then that's what I use Facebook, Firecent Messenger uh, Google Play yeah because I, I use I tried some apps today Wonderground, uh, Weaver, Widget is running all the time in the background I use Chrome, I use Line Chat uh, I have Google application actually I used Twitter today but it doesn't show up I don't know why but I used it so that's pretty much what I got for the battery uh, camera performance uh, still it's a bit better than before uh, in terms of the, the autofocus as you can see uh, it, it got a bit better in my opinion uh, that was the shot with version 3.0.1 yesterday uh, video recording is okay not that bad uh, the sound quality got better as well uh, let's play some music Google photo what is it oh yeah it, it has to save the photos never mind I think it already saved it okay uh, now I'll just go to my music and the li latest added and Yeah, the speaker come from here, and you can see that this the sound level is. So wait a minute. So the sound got better, way better than before. I can tell you. Oops, somebody is coming. I have to answer later. So that's the sound. Okay. So that's it for that update. I'll put a link on of everything in my description. Since there is not that big change, uh, that's how I tell you. I, I do have notification widget right here. I find them useful. And wallpaper, uh, I have a link to all my wallpapers. Uh, I'll post it to my Facebook page. So you can check all my new wallpapers that I do. Uh, that's pretty much it guys. And if you have any question on that update, just ask me. I'm new to OnePlus 2. Uh, remember that I, I, I bought that OnePlus 2 second hand uh, with Oxygen OS 3.0.2 uh, pre-installed. And I think it's pretty cool. And yeah, that's a good it's a good device, I would say. Uh not 4GB of RAM, I can tell you that this is a monster when you compare to the stuff. Multitasking, everything is very great. I really like the stock UI. Fortunately, they will have uh, Oxygen OS, will have some merge with Hydrogen OS in the future. Hydrogen OS in the future. Uh, they will keep the stock look of the Abro and everything, but they'll just add some features and something like this. The, uh, the accent UI will change from that turquoise will be uh, a blue, uh, light blue color style and they will have their own dialer and messaging app their own uh, clock, own gallery and I think the o they have their own music player but that's something new that we will check later if that updates uh, you know the Oxygen OS 3.5.1 or plus drops on the one plus two I let you know guys I might be in French by the time it drops because I'm going to French in two weeks. That's pretty much it, guys. Okay, thanks for watching. Sorry for that creepy quality I'm recording from another phone, but I wanted to make that update video because I didn't see anybody did that one yet. And a lot of people are complaining about the updates and whatever. And I hope that OnePlus did the right choice by merging Oxygen OS and Hydrogen OS to make the update faster they had so it's gonna be easier for them and we have faster update let's see in the future see you guys that's all